Working on one of the looks, this is it. It will be done by tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Basically, they're all kind of like truck stop lizards in like West Virginia. It's very like JT Leroy um, working, you know, waiting for a car to pick you up. So they're all very like roadside, rough and ready kind of boys. Um, well, things are coming together. Thanks to my gorgeous helpers. <laughs> Just give them all the things I hate doing, all the finishings, you know, snaps, hooks and eyes, buttons. I don't touch any of that. All I do is this. <laughs> Welcome to Joanna's book reading. She's a woman in speed and she's active. It's how the garments and accessories, the 50s vintage handbags, start integrating and, and merge and push through and, and change the silhouette. It's basically how to remain your elegance in fast-paced city environments. I believe that the, the way that we move and live in cities now has changed. Collections based on a period of time that once existed that doesn't exist anymore, but it's something that now we all share. And I think the way that we sort of segment our lives and go through memories and reminisce um, through smells and senses is something that I wanted to bring into this collection and I started by using uh, the weather as a metaphor and the wind and the wet from this period and how I remembered it um, and bringing that into the clothing. I'm going to put this in on you. Yeah. The key theme of the collection is uh, surrounded with displacement and from other places around the world that have been displaced either physically or um, ideologically. Just combining these style references of uh, people from different tribes and cultural groups um, within Africa and also immigrants that travel to London and uh, groups of people that I've seen around me growing up in an urban environment in South London. Can we go here? Yeah, let's go. Want to be nerd. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to like create this like complete clash of my world and you know this superficial fashion. This mm. is just like you know this glamorous sort of like I don't give a fuck attitude. So it's all like supposed to like not to fit or like it looks like it doesn't fit. So it's like massive, like kind of like wrapped up. Like there's you know massive jeans, it's kind of like tight. Actually, so it's all like kind of like fucked up. You know, yeah, it's Great. fucked up collection. My MA collection is about female masculinity. I've been reading a lot of books about female masculinity by Judith Halberstam. And I've been working with my own models from the community since the beginning. So it's from like a tailored base and I've been working with all of the models for each look. So it's very like personal. It's called The Boy Who Came Back to Life, and it's really about moving into the light away from the darkness. Um, for the research, 
part of the project, I went on a pilgrimage to um, the two places of my personal heritage, um, Italy and Wales. And I visited the um, healing waters where I sort of took the energy and what I sort of believe as spirit from the water to bring back here and create these healing dolls. The basis of my collection is kind of, I kind of wanted to like look at what makes me happy. Future aesthetic, especially from like the 60s or even just like from Powerpuff Girls or even Charlie's Angels, they always had like these really like amazing, really powerful like girls who just like were themselves and that's like what made them powerful and made them like really happy. But that didn't like take away from like how strong they were. I was kind of looking at how, like today, we're really repressed and trying to be super moral and mm. um, obsessed with being like clean and godly. We are animals in a way, and like reconnecting with like the primal mm. version of ourselves. And, like what is good behaviour? Um, mm. There are just things that are in my head at the moment, so it's kind of like extending into this mm. collection. Two, three, four, five, six, book six, and I would always draw like the girls with their belly button out because um, I thought that, that was like, oh, that's like the most coolest part of the body, and no one ever makes clothes to your belly button. You always were like crop tops, but I was like, no, like I want like a full covered dress with my belly button cut out. Yeah. It's a lot more work than you think it's gonna be. I thought it was gonna be really easy, but it wasn't. <laughs> Definitely became like a stronger, like more confident designer after doing like this whole process. Yeah.